about to witness an epic Tyro Magnus reaction. What is happening, man? You say so. Keeping it on, World Star. I did a reaction video a little while ago to this woman here, and she was explaining why she was saying basically, you know. Married people shouldn't have friends of opposite sex. So I did a video reacting to that and explaining my side of what I thought about it. I was not attacking her in the video. But I'll just explain my thing. But apparently she she then got a part two to this. And I guess she's going to go into detail, I assume, of what maybe she did the first time. I don't know if she got attacked. So maybe she's explaining... Um, herself. I watched the first five like seconds of it and she said like, okay I need it. So, so apparently you know, she might have been getting flat for it so maybe she's going to go into greater detail of what she said the first time. So let's see what the young lady has to say. And I'll give you my, you know, view on it like I always do, Magnus Sites. Alright, so I need to clarify some things about having the opposite sex as your friend while in a committed relationship or marriage. All right, so first of all, I want to say it's okay for you to have couple, couple, I guess other married couples as your friend as well while you're in a committed relationship or marriage. That is okay. Yes, we do not isolate ourselves from the world. Just because I'm married doesn't mean we don't interact with other people. Sure, I have to go out in public, but I'm going to, you know, conduct myself appropriately as his wife. Now, some people believe that I cannot possibly talk to my husband about every single thing. Yes, the heck you can. You know, why can't you? Well, what do you think a marriage is supposed to you be can. about? You know, it's supposed to be about you and your husband. If you have another man on the side, you know, telling all your problems and issues too, going out on dates, you know, because I can't possibly think of anything else that I can do with another man while I'm married. You know, if you're doing all these things with another man, then he's pretty much take, taking up the role of your husband. No, he's your not. Spouse. No, he's not. You know, I know some women, they say, well, I need that other man because I need opinions from a man's perspective. If it's really about a man's perspective, how about you go find a brother, a father, or even a pastor? If you need a man's perspective about things, see, I think that's a big, you know, lie. Why well, can't it be a man you, you don't have sexual interest in? Men, you know, say the same thing. Oh, I need a woman's perspective. You know, my best friend gives me, uh, tells me at 100, you know, go to your mother, fellas, if it's about a woman's perspective. Yeah, you can do that. You know, I, I feel like that's, that's one cold. big lie. Yeah. You need to find an excuse to continue talking to that other person. Yeah. You know, it, that's my opinion on it. You know, then you have those people who say, opinion. you know, you got to be one of the most boring person in the world. You can't, you know, control yourself. It is not about controlling yourself. It is the other person. You must understand that the enemy comes in disguises. The moment you and your husband or you and your wife has a fallout, which all marriages, every relationship does. I don't care who you are. I don't care how famous you are, how popular you are. I done had fallouts to their down points. with my girlfriend, and I ain't fucked none of my that female friends. Be right there. Oh, he should have did that. I ain't oh, fucked none of my female friends. That. Oh, if Can I it happen? I done yes. This. If I was with you, I would have done that. But See, it, that is how they pull you in. Nah, when you exercise control, my lady. Most people are not in your life. Well, the opposite sex are not in your life or just there because, oh, I just wanted to be their friend from the beginning. Yes, they are. A lot, some, way, some of them, somehow, some not. You all fell into this friend zone. Trust me, I've been there. I've done it. You've fallen into the friend zone. So guess what? You all been friends for the longest. Just never find a way to be together. I don't care who you are. Thank you know, you. having friends of the opposite not sex, all the time. you're asking for trouble. Nah. You know, you may not even be attracted to that person. But guess what? Like I said, when did you have this falling out with your spouse? For that, that split second or that split moment of comfort? Oh, you're going to be attracted to that person, not because uh, of their physical attract uh, attractiveness. Nah, trust me, I didn't have female friends that was there for me, you know, and I wasn't attracted to them. Take your relationship. I'm telling you right now. My husband okay. is the head of this house. He leads me. There is no room for another man. I don't need to talk to another man on the phone. I don't need to go on dates with another man. I don't need to, you know, uh, socialize myself with with the male species while I'm out, you know, at work. Well, I actually work from home, so it really doesn't matter. But when I did work out in public, we kept it strictly professional. That's yeah. it. So, 
for all of those who are trying to make up all these excuses of why you're trying to hold on to those friends and those people who are like, oh no, you know, if he can't expect, accept my uh, male friend or she can't accept my female friend, then we just can't be together. So you're telling me that that male or that female friend is so important to you. Because they were there before there. Risk or, you know. They were there before my girl. You've been building for years. If my girl don't trust me, that's an issue. You've been building for years because of that friend? Come on, think about it. I am thinking about it. So obviously that friend is more important. Damn right. In marriage. If a Not man marriage, leave his mother the and his wife, and his wife, as the Bible says, then why do you think? I can cling and still have friends. friends. He clings to his wife. I know, and she can the still be my friend. Clings to her husband. Uh huh. And become one. And he can still be a friend. Don't get it twisted, people. Y'all can be one and still have friends. Now, I'm ready for all the the nice little comments and excuses people are going to come up with now. All right, girl. So listen, right? So you can have platonic friends. I have a few platonic female friends where it ain't gonna never be nothing, okay? I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna give you a shout out, girl. Emily Calderon. I've been friends with her since kindergarten. That's right, I said it ghetto style. Kindergarten, okay? Me and her ain't never danced together. We ain't never kissed. We ain't never held hands. I can call Emily anytime. She can call me anytime. And she has always been platonic. As a matter of fact, Emily hooked me up with my first girlfriend named Kim. Yes. Remember that? We ain't never wanted each other. Okay? So, you know, it's a possibility. Now, I understand where the sister is coming from. She's basically talking about, you know... You know, getting rid of the parents is an evil. Any possibilities of something happening, she's getting rid of. And I get that, but I don't think that it's needed, okay? Okay, now you got to judge that per specific relationship as far as I'm concerned. I do have a particular female friend that... We have an attraction to each other. And when I was going through something, she was there, but she knew me way before my girl knew me. And I didn't touch her still. I didn't do nothing with her still. But I understand, if I got weak, she may have accepted me, you know, and, and handled, helped me de-stress. So, I get what the woman is saying, but here's the whole thing. Sometimes you'll have friends that are attracted to you, but realize that the borders have been clearly defined, okay? I had a female friend before that I was attracted to, but the border was defined. And guess what? We stayed friends through thick and thin. And I was always there for her. She was always there for, well, she wasn't no, She's one of them friends that disappear when she get a man. But when she, you know, then she, but anyway, then she would reappear when, you know, she needed a shoulder to cry on or to talk to or whatever. But I was never that dude waiting in the shadows. Like, yeah, as soon as he fuck her over, I, yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know, it was never like that. Look, I'm not thirsty. Some of them do something like, okay, look, I'm attracted to you, but if you don't want me, huh, I'll draw the motherfucking line. That's me. I will draw the line. I will friend zone you. You don't want me? Why do I want somebody that don't want me? Huh? What does that make sense? Okay, I ain't going to sit here and try to make you want me. So my whole thing is this. If you know that you're friends... And, yeah, sometimes, you know, birds of a feather flock together. So if you attractive, a lot of times, you 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 know, female friends might be attractive. Or if you, you know you're female and you're attractive, your male friends might be attractive. Attractive people, you know, gravitate to attractive people. You got a little something in common. A lot of times you hang at the same place, you party at the same place. Okay, but that doesn't mean y'all all got to be fucking each other and using each other as, you know, um, um, side pieces or just in case you get in an argument with you, you know, with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband. Look, 
Sometime, I can't tell you how many times I've had women that are my female friends call me for a man's point of view because they know I'm one of the rare men that isn't going to try to use it to fuck them. And I'm going to give my unbiased opinion. Because I'm the, I'm, and I think they recognize that early with me. Because I'm the type of friend that will tell you when you're wrong. If you expect to call me and me to just take your side just because we're friends, hey, hey, won't do. I don't do that. I'm a good friend. I'm going to tell you when you're wrong. I'm going to tell you when you're right. And I'm going to tell you what I think is best for you to solve your problem. Okay? I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and let you hurt somebody else or mess up your life or anything else like that. I want you to both come out of the situation well. I won't be the one that's going to lead you down the right the wrong road. You're going to say, "You know what? At the end of the day, Tyrone always told me it's straight." He always told me it's straight. I got one buddy. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did his girl dirty. His girl did him dirty. And he called me mean. Well, remember, you did that first. I know, but yeah, okay then. So you got to understand. There's a woman scorned. She flipping the fuck out. Tit for tat. I'm not saying she's right. I'm just saying I understand. Now that we're on the same page, this is what you can do, I think, to help your relationship flourish now from this point. Okay? So, I just think she a little too um, strict on the whole male-female friend thing. You know, it's like a bodybuilder that say, I don't never eat no carbs. I always eat clean. You know, she just can't, absolutely cannot have a male friend that she may ask a question from time to time. The problem is, and... You know, I mean, this can happen with family. You know, she said, well, speak to a male, you know, your dad, your brother, your uncle. You know, sometimes your family, because they've been close to you for so long, they're biased. So if you have a friend that ain't got no filter and they tell it straight, whether it's male or female, I think it's okay to confide in them to see, well, what do you think about this situation? You know, but if you got a male or female friend, that you know wants you, even though the borders are defined, you ain't gonna get no unbiased answer from them. Cause they're gonna be like, man, see, that dude don't treat you right. Or you know, like, you said never got with her. I knew she was a bitch. You know what I mean? Like they gonna give you that type of answer. Okay? So I'm just saying, make sure clear boundaries are defined. It is a platonic relationship. And make sure whoever you're talking to if you can't talk to your husband or wife, girlfriend, boyfriend about it, then whether it's family member or not, that they can give you an unbiased answer or advice. Okay? All right. I haven't rambled on enough about this. I'm done. One million subscribers. What a 100,000 subscribers. Black bits on the way. Woo! You may now... Subscribe.